Good morning, everyone. I hope you're well. Um, so this morning, um, Saturday morning, it's sunny, cool. There's a little gentle, cool breeze. And I managed to pick some more um, sweet pea and some lovely love in a mist, um, which they were these with the smaller ones in the garden. They've got, I've got some bigger ones, but I thought I'd pick the smaller ones to look at on my desk. Anyway, so yes, I hope everybody's doing well. Um, so I just got my little book here and I was thinking about one of the things I did. Um, you may or may not remember this book. It was, it was this little red one that I wanted to keep for myself and I... Yeah, I mean, I've been having fun in it, I've been working in it, um, putting lots of um, of my postcards and my antique vintage postcards and things like that and my artwork. So, yeah, just doing lots of bits. Mostly I've been writing in. I've got some recipes there. Some um, I don't know if I've showed you these things, but, yeah, some recipes, what to do with flowers, you know, sort of. Um, recipes using flowers and things like that. I wrote that back in the 80s, so it's quite old. <laughs> uh, shows how old I am. Um, so yeah, just really pretty things. And um, I use this. I keep it by my bed and I use it. Um, don't remember putting that there. I don't even know what this is. It's unusual. Anyway, um, so yeah, just have sort of poetry and things like that in here. I don't even know why I'm showing you this right now. Oh yes, because um, <laughs> I forgot why I was showing it. Because I made this little bag um, some time ago with, uh, you know, just the digitals from, this is from Ruby and Pearl and um nice big tag in there and i popped that in the back but um what i've been doing this morning is i've been printing off some um pages of of tracing paper on my printer to use to make paper bags so i've got a variety of um digitals digital images um to use so i thought i'd do it with you guys um and yeah they're nice to put in um uh, journals but they're also nice you know you can give them as little gifts if you put a card inside or something like that so um this is a ruby and pearl image you might recognize it if you have been um you know, if, if you've seen her kit. So this one uh, was the latest, I believe. Um, I used it in my last journal that I did. So I'm just going to take the edges off. I mean, I could keep them... I could keep... It depends how big I want it, but I was thinking I could keep it on. I could keep that side on. You think so if I kept which bit do I want I want that lovely rose these roses at the front with catalogue number at the front so okay so if I kept that on it would make the bag bigger so that's what I'm going to do so why not this paper sorry you might not be able to see that this paper is really lovely I'll show you for those of you in the UK, Hobbycraft, this is the one that I bought. Um, I can't remember how much it was, but it wouldn't have been much, a couple of pounds. And it has a really lovely and unusual texture. So on one side, it's smooth. I don't know if you can see that shiny smoothness. And on the other side, it's dull with a sort of slight texture. Um, and it's really lovely and it's lovely for printing on. Went through my printer, absolutely no problem at all. So I printed on the the rough side, not the smooth side. I don't know 
how the smooth side would have gone but I didn't want the smooth side anyway so I like the, I like the texture of that so yeah so I just thought I'd mention that so that you can um, see I'm thinking I will use the bottom so I don't need to take anything off really um, right so that would go over there like that and you wouldn't see anything hopefully and then the, the bottom would fold up so I'm going to fold the bottom up now you probably made these before um, but I just wanted to do something with you this morning and um, I went out yesterday um, to one of the local charity shops that I have here or um, thrift shops as some of you call them um, and yeah, I bought some more things. <laughs> oh, I just I've got to I've got to stop because I can't. I'm, I'm running out of space to put. I bought some books and um, I am running out of space now. So now I did wonder whether to show you this morning, but then I thought, well, um, maybe I'll do it for another day. You know, you seem going to get tired of seeing all the books. Okay, so that should work. So I need to cut some of it off. I mean, it's not like it's bulky, but it does sort of, um, you know, they never really truly lie exactly in the way that you want them. So I'll cut here. Just try and get in the right place there. And just a little neck onto the other at an angle there and then on this side sorry I don't know if you can see uh, so it's a, a fairly it's a straightforward process um but I just thought I would turn the camera on and um, share it with you so hopefully that's okay to do so that would come up like, like that and like that or yeah oh, that's a good point so ordinarily we would have that coming off the top of those two wouldn't we but we're not doing that with this so that will go inside and then we'll have these two on the outside which isn't ideal I don't think is it I'm just going to trim some of this off a tiny bit because I feel it isn't yeah that's better and on this side as well I'll trim a little bit off I don't think I trimmed enough off so I hope you've been having some nice weather where you guys are you've been having lovely weather here and not too hot so it's been perfect um, I've been in the garden a fair bit just pottering and right so yeah so that will work okay so i am going to use glue wise i'm going to use my glue stick if i can find it where is it where are you hmm. okay oh i know where it is okay i'm just going to grab a new one all right so hopefully this will work. I mean, I've never had a problem with glue sticks before, so it should do. Um, so, um, yeah, so I'll put some glue down here first. I should be using my board to do this. confusing myself here. Okay. 
Okay. And then I need to put glue along here. I'm trying not to get it. Um, okay. So a bit of a white line there, so I'm just going to lift it up again. I mean, I c the thing is, I can. Um, oh, it's stuck down very well. Goodness me! Immediately. Oops. Okay, making a bit of a mess of this, but never mind. All right, so there we go. So that's my first one done. Now I can decide what I'm going to do with the top. I love it. I really love it. It's beautiful. It's so handy. Yeah, be careful you don't get glue on the inside. Yeah, that works nice. Okay, so then um, I do have, I'm trying to think where they are now. I have some scissors that have a, a deckled edge type of thing. Is it a deckled edge? I think I have. Yeah, I've got some here. Let's try these. This one. I don't, I would use, um, if I had, um, I'm just going to try it out on a piece of paper. Oh, I don't know if I, yeah, it would have to be that way. Yeah, so it would be this way. Try this one. Mm, not so keen on that. I mean, it's nice, but so how you have to hold it in a certain way in order to get that pretty edge. So with the pattern on the outside, if you know what I mean. I'm just, I'm not going to take much off at all. And they're not... just trying to make it pretty I mean it's not necessary to do this and it's very hard actually yeah not doing very well well at least you're getting to see um, that it's not easy it's probably because it also I'm going through two two bits of paper at the same time Okay, I'm going to not use that because it's not working very well. It's just making a mess. So what I'll do is just fix it with this. To show you. So there we go. Some people will put um, a nice, a sort of a, maybe we'll do it with one of them, sort of a fold over, you know, um, or maybe we can do that with one of them. But anyway, there's the first one. So um, the other thing that I sometimes do, um, did I do it with this one? Oh, no, I did a proper fold over edge there. So some people do this. And then I put a little groove there, but um, what I have done in the past is just tied a ribbon round, sort of put a two holes in like that and then tied a ribbon. And that's worked really nicely as well. Anyway, that's beautiful. I like that. Shame about the scissors. I'm not sure why they're not working properly, but never mind. Um, OK, let's do another one. Just moving some things up the minute. Not sure why they're in the way, but okay. Oh, I'm all fingers and thumbs this morning. Just put the lid on. 
next uh, the next one I think I'll do is this one with the birds I just really like this this is this is from I think it's from the graphics fairy the freebie I think and sometimes I cut them out and I use them as fussy cuts I've got horses going by I love this green cherries <laughs> um So I'm thinking what to cut off here. Uh, so whether to do, you know, um, one of these. Where is it? There. I'm wondering whether to do this on here, but then I might lose. I shouldn't do that. I lose a little bit at the top. Be nice to do something different, I think. So I'm going to just fold it, decide which way I want it. That didn't print very well. All the other bits did, but that one didn't, which is a shame. Um, so I might have. those as my front but then I don't want to no I'm probably better off having those as my front even though it is a little bit yeah I'll have these as the front or I could go for the middle okay. yeah no I'll have these as the front I think yeah okay so I'm just going to fold them in like that like these two birds there yeah I might go for this yeah I'm gonna go for this so I'll just do this so I don't think we need it that big that was quite a bit bigger so I am going to cut the edges off simply because I don't think, in fact I've cut this side off and then we'll go from there. It's a shame I've folded it once but it doesn't matter, it's just, this is just to show you and um, just to make some nice little bags to use. Um, okay, so then that would fold like Oh, oh dear. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't very sensible, but never mind. So that was like that. Because I won't have enough to fold over otherwise. That's okay. I've got three folds now. Oh. Never mind. Um, I'm, st I'm still going to keep that bit on. I think it's okay to keep that bit on. And the white bit on the edge there. So this is going to be a, quite a big bag. Now at the bottom, um, I'm going to fold up a bit more than I did. Now there was something, I can't remember what I said about the bottom one. Yeah, I like that. That's better. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. I can't have that on the outside. But actually, I don't mind that. Yeah, I don't mind that. So I'm going to leave that like that. Now the top, I'm just thinking what to do at the top. Um, if I want to have one side higher. So let's see. And do this. Yep, 
there. Oh, oh it's never, you can never, well, I can never. <laughs> I always find it difficult. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then one side will be higher. So then I have to, the back will be up. Oh, the back's really lovely as well, actually. Um, so the back will be up and the front will be down. Just thinking. Can't take any more off the front, otherwise I would have taken some off the front rather than lift that up because it's going to be quite flimsy, but it's okay. Right, so I have to make sure I get everything cut properly. Okay. So again, I'm going to be cutting into the centre, so just a tiny bit on this side. I'm doing this right. I'm not. I'm not feeling confident. <laughs> okay, and that comes up like that. So that. Yeah, that's right. Okay, good. So now the top bit. Lovely paper and a lovely design. So, oh, so now it's the back, isn't it? So I don't cut the back off, I just cut these off, the front off. So it's going to be, I think, trying to think what to do. Um, I think it's going to look messy you know because I've done so many folds I might just have to cut the whole thing or just fold the whole thing down I might do that and just have a bit of a, a stronger top okay I'm just going to do that for the sake of it being um oh I don't um let me think yeah it'll be all right because it's not bulky anything it should be all right let's see just playing here i don't want it to be too complicated but um you know i remember watching others do this and it, there's always a little bit of doubt <laughs> you know it's when we do this so i'm not the only one all right that isn't wow it's really the glue sticks so quickly on this paper, so it almost like it soaks it up. So it might not be be completely straight. That right. So I have to remember this. I'm gonna do this. And then put some glue on here. Again, it will it will glue it very quickly. And we want to glue on here. Okay. Um, all the way. Okay. Like this. So, oh. this and then that folds oh I put you. yeah I haven't been very clever guys oh, yeah I've made a mistake on this one um I put glue right to the edge I'm not sure why I did that but as I say I get confused and I think let me I'm gonna let that dry and then 
rather than rub it because it could rub the ink. And I don't want to do that. I mean, it's nice. It's a lovely one. If I hadn't made so many mistakes, it's really nice. Um, and you've got a nice sturdy top there as well. So, yeah. Uh, that's okay. I'm sure it'll be fine. We we'll just have to work things out a little bit better. But actually, this tracing paper is so strong. Oops, I don't get it hasn't glued down properly. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. Um, let's see what. Oh, that one's, yeah, that one's taller because I've cut some off, but I like the size of both of them. Um, so let's do another one. Let's see if I can get this right. Right, now, I've got a map here, which I'm, I thought that would be really nice, different. But also, I'll show you what I've got. I've got, this is Ruby and Pearl. This is the documents one i think this might be ruby and pearl or it's raindrop lilac and then this was um one that i got freebie um i think it's from a facebook page what's interesting is this is exactly the same image and that one's sort of more peachy than this but i thought the reason i did it this way is because it was originally um portrait and i wanted it landscape so and i ended up doing two could have done landscape three but anyway no i couldn't it wouldn't do it so um well it gives me the same exactly the same image, image on the back so that's going to be quite handy and then i like the idea of that one so i'll print, print it out a bit smaller so we'll see see how we go i'm going to do this one now and again and um, let's see what the front will be Hmm. I could have to there and have this at the front or I could have a bit of all of that hmm. take one side off again I'm not sure which side is best Those sweet peas smell absolutely wonderful. So nice. Right. Um, right, now this, there is no um, border on the bottom there, so I don't have to do anything with that. That will just fold off. Um, right, let's just see which bit do I want. I want some of the map. Yeah, I'm going to have the map. I'm going to, that's going to fold like this. Something like that. Love it. Right, so um hold it here. It's a shame, but I'll try not to take too much of the bottom. cut this off and um, I'll just cut a bit further in Fold there so I can see what I'm doing. 
I hope this isn't boring for you, but, um, you know, it's nice to see the different papers, I think. And then um, maybe I should do something different. I mean, if, if I can do something different with the top, I will. Um, so let's say I was to fold the top. quite small mm. oh no no you're not going to see anything you'd have to fold that and this and I don't want to do that that will make it too small so it's going to be the same as the others guys I'm sorry it's just not um, it's not going to work out that way oh I might put the mat bit like that on the outside this time and I'll try to decide whether to fold the top in because it just makes for a, um, a nicer edge, a, a sort of more stable edge. So I'm going to do that here. You know, more, um, so if I were to, for example, put, yeah, putting things in and out, it's just making it more stable. Love that. I really love it. Okay, so um, that is going to go on the outside this time. Just trying to get these folds bright because I could see that that little bit there was taller and I want it to be exactly the same so I don't want any problems with this yeah it's still taller I might have to cut a little bit off maybe anyway I might be being too pernickety okay so I'm gonna um first of all I will glue this bit down yeah it's interesting how this glue is working so well on here because I didn't expect that especially with it being shiny but it's just soaking the glue up and it's really doing well okay holding it well there we go and then that is going to glue onto there just need to it's really simple it's just me complicating things because I'm you know um I know there's there's a fold I believe that will give me a top uh, um you know the top of it which would be better whoa whoa whoa, whoa. that's it Yeah, it's still sticking up a little bit, which I'm not really happy about. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, you probably can. So I'm going to have to cut that because I don't like it. Um, I don't know if it's going to affect. Let's see if I can cut it this way. Okay. Yeah, that should be fine. Just make sure I glue it down properly. Okay, and there we go. Good. And I, I actually, I mean, you can ink these as well. So if you've got a bit of glue on on it, then it, I don't think it'll work. You know, it won't be too bad. Really glad that yeah, I get to see this little bit of the map at the bottom there. Because I like that a lot. Right, so that's another one done. Very easy. Um, you, you know, not so easy that I don't get confused, but it is easy. Um, it's just me. And again, really lovely. Love that. So we've got one, two, three. They're all pretty much the same size. And then, of course, you can put them inside your 
um, journals or as I said you could put some nice ephemera in whatever you know so I'll do this one because this is an interesting one as well it's going to be smaller just make sure there's no glue um, yeah this is going to be a lot smaller what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to fold up the bottom. I can't really take everything off. I was thinking I'd just take it all off, but then I will. It will be way too small then. Maybe it just needs to be a small one. I'm going to fold this over. at the folds Success. And I think all of the side is excess, so I can take all of that off. Okay. That's good to know. Oops. Mm -hmm. Might have to take more off that, I'm not sure yet. Let's see. Mm, sun's coming out. Well, it, it, it's been sunny all morning, on and off. It's just a bit chilly. Okay, and then let's see how we. I can cut some of the bottom off and then that will go like this. So it's a thinner one, like a document. And I'm going to bring this down so that, yeah, I'll do that. Actually, I'm not unsure if I'm going to take... Yeah, no, I will have to. Um, so, yeah, I'll take this off. I'm not cutting very straight. I'm trying to cut a little bit more off because it the other way is it whoops didn't want that much off oh. what is wrong with me that might be a bit of an issue just leave it on for now oh that's going under yeah I just have to make sure that that's all okay A bit dodgy but it's okay I might just fold that in a little bit more yep sorry I come out of frame okay and then that comes over there like that and I really like that so I will glue this down And 
put some glue on here. I'm being careful not to get it on the outside. Right, so then that comes over. And on which side comes over? That comes over. And again, I mean, if it's in the fold, you know, you, you never, it's interesting how folds in paper are, are always a little bit off. I, it could be my folding, but I have noticed generally folds can be off quite easily. So I'm going to cut that. So it's the same as everything else. Still needs a bit more off, just a tiny bit. I think I've got to do a bit more cutting. Okay. A bit more gluing on the bottom there. interesting every single one of them I've had problems with <laughs> for some reason or another or one reason and another mm, doesn't want to stick everything else stuck really quickly and this one just does not want to stick right uh, what I could do is like I say is I could um, Make sure that's all stuck down a little bit there. Otherwise, something's going to catch on it. Every time I put something in, it would catch on it. So we'll try and get in there. Lovely. That's really lovely. Beautiful. A little bit of a struggle, but you know, it isn't necessary to struggle you i'm sure you guys would do a lot better than me i've still got that little tiny bit of white poking off that's just bothering me and i you know i should leave it but because i'll end up cutting the paper there we go snipped it off did i anyway right so there we are so we've got four so far and they're all a little bit different but the same and um, here we go so we've made a few and what I have done in the past as I said is I've um, just get rid of some of these scrap bits it's a shame about the the scissors not working properly I'm not sure. could be just be because they are um, it's tissue paper um, tracing paper and it might not cut very well on tracing paper so let's just have a look not that one so these and they're all very different which is nice um, I like them all now I could decorate them a little bit um, right so I could put reinforcement on there and decorate them. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here. Um, but I hope you like them. 
and um, have some ideas for doing your own. I might, I could put a ribbon on. Let me just check to see what I've got. Needs to be something fairly simple, I think. Let's see. Um, not too heavy. Oh, I've got this pretty white, but I don't think that suits any of them. No, it doesn't. Um, got some black. This came off something that I have no idea what. Looks like a gift. I think that would look quite nice on there. Let me just try it. It's got a knot in it, so this is why I'm guessing it's come off of a gift. It's nice. Um, ribbon and I, ordinarily you know you wouldn't I wouldn't use black but it's got a nice feel to it nice and dingly dangly right so now what I could do is I could go through the back do two and then pull it tight there yeah, I think I'll do that. So I'll give it two, two holes either side. Uh, and yeah. Okay, and then cut some ribbon. I'll put the send in first. And I could, what I could do is, um, I don't, I need enough, so, put there. So it, obviously it's a little bit fragile, but um, let me just do it from the other way around. Slippery slip. So if there was something in it, it would help. <laughs> This ribbon is very slippery. There we go. Okay, so a nice little ribbon tie. As well, on this one. You don't want to pull it too tight and rip it. But there you go. I think that's pretty. Let's see if I've got another one. This is going to be too much. Yeah, too much. Got white. Got some blue here. Um, that would look nice on there, actually. This blue ribbon there. Could use that there. And again, it's reinforced, so so that's good. So I'm not even going to bother to. So how many have we got? One, two, three. Come on. One. Half. One, two, three, four. So oh, just, I'm just going to, you know, pretend like. pop this in. Pretty, this is pretty sorry silk ribbon and 
works nicely. So there we go. This blue is lovely. I need some more. Sorry, so actually I'm gonna have to look. I'm running out. Oops, I can't do it from that side. Why? Don't you know? Obviously, you could put reinforces inside, but isn't that pretty? I love that. So there we go. Um, I'll just do the two, so you get the idea. And then you know you could also just wrap some string around one if you want to. I'll just put some string around this one. Let's see. I've got some string in here. String would look lovely on this one. I've done too much, but it doesn't matter. Um, so I could just do one on this, but I think I'll do two. But I was just thinking I could do one if I wanted to, and I'm going to just do it from there. And I'm doing the smaller hole for this one in there. It reminds me of a little document folder. Yeah, way too long. <laughs> okay. Turn it around this way. Yeah, I'll make it a little bit longer because it's um It'd be nice to have some hanging down. Just pull these in a bit more. There we go, and then have that hanging down like that. I love it. I love them. They're so cute. They're really lovely and really just really special. You know, you can put things in them and give them away as gifts with something inside. So, yeah, really happy with them. So I hope you like them. Um, yeah, it's... Um, once you get used to doing them, I guess it would get easier. I don't know why I struggled, but I really love these. I think they're just really pretty. I could put something nice on that one. So I'll look into maybe some more string. So, yeah, really happy with them. So I hope you like them and um, I'll be back again soon to do some more videos. So take care, everyone. and Bye for now.